Hi guys, welcome to the new design sponge. This morning I wanted to put up a little video to walk you through some of the changes we've made. There's a brand new look, but there's also a drastically improved organizational system. So this video will show you some of the key features and how to use them. All of the primary navigation for Design Sponge now lives in top navigation bars, starting with this main one right here. This is where you'll find all of the primary categories like spaces, places, before and afters, DIY, products, and everything else you could need. Up in the top navigation bar, you can find out more about our team, how to contact us, and information on advertising with the site. Next to that, you'll see the improved search bar, also links for the RSS feed, our Twitter account, and the Design Sponge Facebook page. Now that we've talked about navigation, it's on to content. There are three main content wells in Design Sponge, starting with the primary blog column on the far left. This is where all of the new posts will be. Above each post, you'll see a bubble that has comments. You can see how many were left, but also click it to leave your own. And next to that, you'll see an author's byline. This is who's writing the post that you're reading, and you can click on their name to view all of their archived posts. The center column is brand new. It's where we'll highlight some of our main categories during the week, just in case you've missed something. You'll see posts here for do-it-yourself projects, sneak peeks, before and afters, and any of our other major original columns. The right-hand column on Design Sponge used to be reserved just for ads, but now we've put special content units here that will highlight some of our favorite posts and help you navigate the site better. The I want to unit at the top right hand side of the site will help you get some quick links if you're looking to do something very specific, like decorate a room or plan a party. Further down on the right side, you'll see our featured post section. This is where we'll pull out a post, a video, or other content that we're particularly excited about and highlight it here. Below that on the right side will be a list of the most read posts of the month. This is where you can check out what people are talking about and what's popular on the site. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the site, you'll see a brand new section called Recently at Design Sponge. This is where you can see weekly content organized by day. So if you're coming to the site on a Thursday but missed Monday through Wednesday, you can click on those links to see what posts happened on the days that you missed. Now it's on to the good stuff. This is the part of the redesign that took us forever. We had to recode about 11,000 posts, but it was so worth it. You can now search every single landing page's content based on your specific interests. For example, if you'd like to search sneak peeks by ownership or size or location or style, you can do that. The same with do-it-yourself projects before and after and every other landing page you see in the primary navigation bar. Let's start with houses to just show you an example. Let's say for an example that you want to look for homes that are just rentals. Just go to the middle column and click on the word rent. If you're looking for small spaces that are similar to yours, now you can check the word small to narrow further and only see rentals that are also small spaces. If you'd like to narrow even further, you can select states or cities or even countries to make sure that your location is exactly where you want it to be. The more filters that you apply to any landing page, the smaller your search results will get. So how do you back it up so that you get a larger amount of search results and don't filter quite as much? Just uncheck the box next to the word that you'd like to stop narrowing by. So if you'd like to see larger homes in California, just uncheck the word small and you'll see houses of all sizes. Now that we've talked about how the site is laid out and how to use it, I wanted to highlight some new sections, like our columns landing page, which you'll see in the top primary navigation tool. Design Sponge has worked for years to create a team that creates original content every week, and I wanted to be able to highlight that in a better way. So on this page, you'll see icons for all of our original columns that happen on a weekly or monthly basis. If you have a favorite author or a favorite column, you can bookmark this page and keep track of what happens here. Speaking of authors, if you have a favorite Design Sponge team member or just want to get to know everyone here better, you can check out the About page and click on People to read more about our editors and see their latest posts. Last but not least, we have a new section in the navigation called Entertaining. This is where all of the recipes for food and drink will live, party ideas, holiday ideas, and things like weddings and other events. This is also where all of the flower arrangements and flower how-tos will live. You can search all of these and refine them further, and this is where you should go if you're looking to entertain. I hope you enjoy the new site as much as we have. We hope to continue to grow and change and make sure that we give you content that you love in a way that's easy to use. Thanks so much for watching.